Hello, this is Ben from Computer World. In this demonstration today, we're going to look at the distributed firewall within NSX to help us control access to virtual machines using RDP. So first of all, I'm going to create a rule that's going to block RDP traffic. And the source I'm going to set to a security group that I created in an earlier demonstration. The security group was called NSX Demo VMs. So I'm going to pick this, move it over to the right hand side. I'm just going to filter the service so it's just blocking RDP traffic. So within the search functionality, I'm just going to type RDP to filter it. I can see the RDP service, move it over to the right hand side and click save. And I'm going to set the action to block. I'm then going to click publish and this will push this rule down to each host in my cluster. I'm then going to switch over to a virtual machine I've created called WebVM1. WebVM1 is a member of the security group I created earlier. So it's actually going to get this rule applied because it's part of the source. And what I'm doing now is trying to RDP to a virtual machine called app VM1. And because the traffic's coming from a source of web VM1, it's being blocked by the firewall. So as you can see, we have an error there. And I'm going to try the same again for web VM2. And in a moment, we'll see we'll get an error saying communication is blocked for RDP. So there's no access out of this virtual machine for remote desktop. So what I'm going to do now is add another rule. And this time I want to allow RDP traffic just to the web servers. So I'm going to create a new rule called allow RDP to web servers. For the source, I'm going to use the security group called NSX Demo VMs. The service will be RDP. Again, I'm going to use the search functionality just to speed things up. So I find the RDP service, move it to the right hand side, click save. But this time I'm going to pick a destination. So if the destination is to the security group web VMs, then the traffic will be allowed. So I'm going to pick this group here, leave the action to allow, and then I'm going to click publish. So this new rule sits above the block RDP traffic, which is important. So if I switch back to my virtual machine, try the RDP to the web VM2 server and as you can see I can successfully log in now. So I just minimize that. If I try the app VM1 again I'm still not going to be able to get connectivity. This is because the rule below that, the original rule that I created that blocks RDP traffic is still in effect. So in a moment we'll see this connection timeout. So we still can RDP to the app VM1. So just to show you that RDP does work and the firewall rule is taking effect, I'm just going to change this rule to allow, hit publish, and switch back to my virtual machine. Try one last time to RDP, and this time it's successful. That's because we're no longer blocking the RDP protocol. So we're now successfully logging into this virtual machine. And this wraps up this demonstration using the distributed firewall to control RDP access to virtual machines. I hope you found this useful and thanks very much for watching.